All right, guys. You know, I was thinking uh, about uh, something. I was thinking from last week's uh, fiasco of the reparations committee, uh, speaking about reparations, and the way some black people act on YouTube, and the way some of us act out in general. One question I posed. One question I, that I strongly pose uh, that needs to be addressed. When are we ever going to get it together? And I mean that it's, in its honest sincerity. This is DJ Wolf Live. You know, I thought about a couple of things in life, man. One of the things I thought about is when the hell are we going to ever get get our, our, our S together? You know? See, I'm trying to calm down with my cursing and stuff. When we get our stuff together, man. Uh, you know, here we are talking about white supremacy. We're talking about uh, 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 white privilege and all of this stuff. And yet, we can't even get our own act together to uh, fight injustice in this country. We're still, we're the, you know, we. I don't know. It's just, I watch guys on YouTube fighting all the time over, really, absolutely nothing, nothing. It's like they got nothing else better to do but just fight each other, you know. Um, a YouTuber I had to bring it. Uh, uh, I had to post a video about that. Now he's totally right. I forgot the guy's name, but I'm going to post it if I can remember. It. I think I know who it is. Um, but yeah, this. I I, I tell you, man. What is this? Game? Oh, man, don't play that game out here. You know, Dagon, what are you doing? You know what you're doing. You're not even trying to drive. I'm going to do a whole podcast on, on these lame drivers out here in the DMV, man. They play too many games with people on the road. They really do, and they do it all the time. They do it all the time out here. You know? But, uh, you know, I just, you know, and the guy had brought some major points about, you know, we fight all the time. We fight at parties. We fight at church, we, 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 we fight stores, we fight everywhere, man, over the dumbest stuff, you know, and it's just, it's just ridiculous, man, and I, I hate to say it, but I can sometimes understand why some people give up on their own race, our race anyway, I could kind of understand that, I can understand the sentiments fully because we're tired of it, you know, here y'all talk Y'all contradict yourself to well, we need to band together and do this and the other. We don't even band together just to band together just to be civil with each other. You know? We don't. I know y'all don't want to hear me talking about it, you know? Um, considering I have around 200 subs, y'all don't want to hear me. And then many of y'all will, will come to my channel and uh, y'all view it, but you don't want to like it. You don't want to subscribe to it. You know? I know you don't want to subscribe to Real Truth. You don't. Especially when it hits you in your face. You know? Verbally, not literally. But I I, 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 said, I come from an honest place with this, man. You know, there's no really... I found out over the years, there is really no honesty in a lot of our uh, culture with, with among ourselves. We don't have that. We refuse to do it. We like to phone it up with each other. People do it all the time. Trust me, I know. And we just constantly keeping up a bunch of BS all the time, man. And I'm like, Tommy, on one thing, if there's three, it won't be, me won't be, you know. And I know what you're talking about, you know, because I've been in that situation before. But it's, you know, it's just, I, I'm just sick of it, man. I, it's just, it's just, you know, we contradict ourselves on everything, everything. Um, I'll give you an example on something I saw. And I, I, and I and and I'm guilty of doing it, you know. And, and I, I and uh, I, it was a video I saw on uh, World Star Hip Hop several years ago. Um, I don't think that was on World Star Hip Hop. It was anyway. It was a video of this mother slinging around her two, I think, not two month old, two week old child across the floor, literally. And it was the most horrific thing I've ever seen in my life. One one of the most horrific things I've ever seen. A mother doing that. And of course her mother 
which is the child, child's grandmother, the baby grandmother, literally tries to defend her on everything. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? You know, you can't defend that. Talking about, well, she was just an eye and a boyfriend. Her boyfriend had nothing to do with that. Although I admit, he didn't stop her either. You know. And I had, I had up to 1,500 views on that, that video. And you know why? And I hate to get vulgar about it. Because Negroes like that kind of shit. Let's be real. They like that stuff, man. They like ratchet shit. They don't like reality. They don't like the fact you got to listen to somebody tell you about what you need to do. See, this is the thing about Bill Cosby. That, I mean, and I'm not even dogging Bill Cosby out, out about it. But black people went in on Bill Cosby because Bill Cosby was telling you, hey, this is what you need to do with your kids. Although I will admit, he shouldn't have to tell you to do that. You should know to do that. You know? But did I say anything wrong with him saying it overall? No, I really didn't. You know, I know he was saying, but they all say, oh, he was a coon because he told you that. Really? Well, when are you going to tell your kids that? I think that's coon is not to tell them, <laughs> to tell you the truth, to get them straight. <laughs> Boy, y'all kill me, man. That's why, I, you know, I'll be honest. This is a, uh, another guy on, the, on YouTube that I follow on. Uh, and he called himself introvert something. And I'm kind of like that anymore. You know, introvert. You know? I've been alone. I was alone for many, many years anyway. I was alone as a child somewhat. You know? I wasn't really that much alone. I was at one point, though. And later on. Uh, when I got out of Sometime after I got out of high school. But I wasn't really alone. And I take that back. Because I was dating. I was dating. I was dating at the time. So. But I'm somewhat of of that now as an adult. I'm not saying that, oh yeah, I don't have a family or whatever, but I, uh, I'm saying outside of my family, I am. I'm very much alone. I don't fool a lot of people. I don't. And it's not because I don't want to. Um, it's just that I'm not, you know, I don't, you know, you know, I just, I just don't. I mean, I, I mean, I, let me put it like this. I feel comfortable or I try to feel comfortable in, in any situation I'm in, but uh, I'm just not, I don't do a lot of uh, extensive talking outside YouTube and Spreaker, and, you know, in my podcast, I don't, I don't do a lot of talking like this, I don't, and other than, you know, what I do outside of this, I don't do too much talking, I don't, I'm a, I'm a bit of a social wallflower, I, I will admit to that, you know. But there's so much different mess going on. And people, you think there's your friends. And I've had that happen to You know, you thought you was friends and try to use you and stuff. I, I just stay away from that mess. You know? You know, try they try, you know, getting good on you and your family and stuff. I had to cut them off. Because I see where they were going with. And I, I wasn't going that route. Period. I wasn't going to be led astray. And wasn't going to let nobody let me lead me astray. Period. So I just kind of stayed to myself, you know. And like I said, it's not intentionally, but it's what I have to do. Because this world, this world's wrong, man. This world's cold as hell, you know. And we as a culture, man, as a people, just let our, you know, our emotions get the best of us. And then we go in on each other, you know. Not learning to talk talk about things. I mean, that's the other thing, you know. I find out myself over the years. We, uh, you try to have honest conversations with your old people sometimes, and then they get mad because you're having an honest conversation. It's not even shade. It's just hey, you know this, that, that, the other. And they, you know, I, I, this is why I just like forget it. It's done. You know, it's a damn shame, man. Here we talk the game, but we don't believe in what we're talking about. You know, we talk loud and say nothing constantly, all the time. So. Just wanted to get that out the way, um, because it's true. We, we uh, until we can get our own stuff together, we, we're never gonna get together. You know, look what happened last week with the reparations uh, meeting in, on Capitol Hill. That's a prime example, and they all bucked down. Oh, we don't want to cut check. Hmm. I got more to say about that later. This is DJ Wolf. I'm out.